السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر سورة that we all know by heart the سورة that Imam Shafi'i رحمه الله he said if that was the only سورة revealed it would be sufficient Allah سبحانه وتعالى swearing by time and then after that he said إن الإنسان لفي خسر mankind is in complete loss I don't want to be a loser, and I'm sure you do not want to be a loser. So let's open our ears and listen to what Allah said after that. He said, Illa, except. You don't want to be a loser, you have to be from the people who are after Illa, after except. So you become all ears and you want to hear who are the people who are not losers. والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر الله سبحانه وتعالى saying إن الإنسان لفي خسر mankind is in complete loss except who are these يا الله who are the exception I want to be from the exception يا الله إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواسوا بالحق وتواسوا بالصبر except the one who does all four not pick and choose from the four, except the one who does all four. What are these four? Believer, he does righteous deeds, and he order and recommend whatever is good, and have patience while doing that. Believe, Amal Saliha, righteous deeds, recommend good and be patient while we are recommending good to others. That is my introduction for my topic today. And before I start, I want to tell you that I love you for the sake of Allah, so please lend me your ears. And I want to make sure today, my brother, my sister, that I do not want to upset you. My speech today is to my brother and my sister who do not pray. Like I said, and I repeat, I'm going to be very gentle because my goal is not to put you down. My goal is to remind you, is to be from the people who are تَوَاسَوْ بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالصَّبْرِ I want to be from the people who are reminding each other of good. And I'm going to be very patient and I'm not going to upset you inshaAllah ta'ala because my goal is for you to pray. Not my goal is to tell you, look at me, I pray and I show off. No, no, no. My goal is for, for you to start praying. So please listen to me. My first question to you, my dear brother and my dear sister. Why don't you pray? Did you ever ask yourself that question? Why don't you pray? Do the people who pray, are, are they better than you? No, they're not better than you. So why don't you pray? Please, I want you to ponder upon this question. And you, you, you say that you are a Muslim and you are proud to be a Muslim. What does Islam mean? Islam means to submit to Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to pray. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, Buniya al-Islam wa ala khams, the first hadith that we, we learned to memorize. We all know it by heart. Islam is built on five pillars. After the shahada, alhamdulillah, you have it. The second one, the, the biggest one after that is salat. So why don't you pray, my brother, my sister? Why don't you pray? Why don't you pray? You might say, I, I want to pray, but I'm very, very busy. My brother, what's keeping you busy? Is it your children? Is it your wealth that's keeping you busy from remembering Allah Azza wa Jal? What did Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala say? Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu And I know you are a believer. 
لا تلهكم أموالكم ولا أولادكم عن ذكر الله ومن يفعل ذلك فأولئك هم الخاسرون Oh, you believe. Do not let your wealth and your children distract you from the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. And the Salat is the best remembrance. And whomsoever let that take place, he will be, she will be amongst the losers. Allahu Akbar. I don't want you to be among the losers, brothers, please. When you say you are busy, who gave you the tools to be busy? Who gave you the health to be busy? Who gave you the brain to be busy? Who gave you the hands and the, and the legs to be busy? Isn't it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I know that you know that. وَمَا بِكُمْ مِن نِعْمَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ Every ni'mah, every blessing that we have is from Allah azza wa jal. And the salat is an opportunity to say, Thank you, Ya Allah. Thank you, Ya Allah. My brother, my sister, if I did you a favor, if I paid for the operation to bring your uh, arms back or to, bring, or to make you be able to walk again or to see again, you would thank me day and night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings upon us are countless. Just look around you. Please pause right now and look around you. You see that, that house that you're living in? that phone that you're watching from, that computer, that TV, that, that furniture, that food, that wife, those children, that father, that mother. This is all from Allah Azza wa Jal. And just few minutes per day to say, thank you, Ya Allah, my brother, why don't you pray? Please, my sister, why don't you pray? What did Allah do to you? And you decided not to pray. What is it? My brothers, maybe you have another excuse. Maybe you'd say, Allah did not guide me yet, Ya Sheikh. Allah did not guide me yet to the Salat. When Allah guide me to the Salat, I will start praying. My brother, my brother, my sister, this is from the Shaitan. These are whispers from the shaitan. Why don't you pray and say, Allah guided me to pray? You are not praying and saying, oh, Allah did not guide me to pray. So why don't you pray and say, Allah guided me to pray? Would you say, you agree, and I agree, that the one who guides is Allah, right? We all know that. And you're saying, Allah did not guide me. طيب, we both also agree that the one who cures is Allah, right? He is a shafi. طيب, when you get sick, when you get sick, don't you go to the doctor? Don't you take the medicine? Or you sit down and say, no, 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 Allah is going to cure me. Allah did not cure me yet. No, no, you do something to be cured. Would you sit at home knowing that Allah is the razzaq and you say, Allah is going to provide for me and you go and sleep in the couch and watch TV all day? No. You go to school, you go to college, you get a major, you, you get degrees and you look for a job and you struggle day and night in order to get the salary. You do something to get the rizq. Similarly, what did you do to get the guidance? You are claiming that Allah did not guide you. Now Allah made you click on this so you could watch it. Did you go to the masjid to be guided? Did you listen to, to speeches to be guided? Did you mix with righteous people in order to be guided? What did you do, my brother, to be guided? This is a trick from the shaitan to make you say, no, no, Allah did not guide me yet. When Allah guides me, I will start praying. The hidayah needs work, my brother, my beloved brother. It needs work. Allah, my brother, I don't know how the person who does not pray I have no clue how do they find rest and peace in their life. How? How could there be peace in the life without Salat? If the connection between me, because Salat is from the word Sila. Sila, Wasala, is to connect. 
So when I do not pray, I have disconnected myself from the source of Rahmah, from the source of peace, from the source of mercy, from the source of forgiveness, from the source of love, from the source of kindness, the source. So if you are stressed and you are depressed and you have so many worries, Salat is your cure, Salat is the solution. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ خُلِقَ هَلُوعًا إِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُّ جَزُوعًا وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الْخَيْرُ مَنُوعًا Allah said in Surah Al-Ma'arij, man have been created restless. When he's touched by adversity, he's distressed. And when he's touched by good, he is ungenerous, he's not generous. And then he said, إِلَّا, إلا الْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ دَائِمُونَ Except, Allahu Akbar, except the people who pray and they are consistent and they are constant in their salat. They will not be among the people who are distressed and ungenerous. My brother, the, the, the source of, of rest and peace and relaxation and in this dunya is in the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. Ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'innu al-qulub. By the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal, the hearts feel at ease. My brother, my sister, why don't you pray? Please, why don't you pray? Why don't you pray? This is, this is the best thing that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala blessed us with is Islam. And Allah ordered us in the Quran ordered us to pray in many, many places, ordered us to pray. It's an order from the one that you love. I know, I know, I have no doubt in my heart that you love Allah Azza wa Jal. That if you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why don't you obey Him? You obey your father, you obey your boss, you obey the police officer. So why when it comes to Allah, you decided not to obey Him? Why? Why, my brother, my sister, why? Why we obey human beings? And we do not obey the King of Kings, Allah Azza wa Jal. Why we obey people that's not gonna, maybe will not even gonna benefit us in our life. And we disobey the one who is in charge of everything. The one who will decide my destiny forever. My brother, my sister, why don't you pray? Ask yourself that question, please. Now, keep in mind that the Salat is a source of wiping all the sins. We are all sinners, me and you. And the source is a, uh, the Salat is a source of wiping all these sins. Listen to this beautiful hadith, which is in Bukhari and Muslim. Rasulullah said, if someone, if, if someone has a river by their door and they shower five times a day in that river, will there be any dirt left on them? The Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, no way. Somebody showers five times a day. How could they have any dirt left on them? Rasulullah said, similarly, the five daily salat, they clean the sins just like that river cleans the body. Allahu Akbar. My brother, why don't you pray? Or you might be from the people who would say, brother, Iman is right here. And you point to your heart. I have a clean heart, I have a white heart, I do not harm anybody, I love Allah, I love all the people, I do a lot of good things. Alhamdulillah, that's all great. That you love Allah is great, you love the people is great, you have a pure heart, amazing, excellent. But where does Allah say that if you have pure heart, you don't have to pray? Where did he say that? If that is true, if you have a pure heart and, and beautiful heart and a sound heart and a peaceful heart, you don't have to pray, then Rasulullah Sallallahu will be the most deserving person not to pray because he has the purest heart. And he was the one who, who, who prayed till his feet get swollen. Allahu Akbar, brother and sister, why don't you pray? This is not an excuse, my heart is, is clean, my heart is, is, is white, my heart is pure. These are tricks from the shaitan. As a matter of fact, when you have this pure heart, 
it should make you love Allah more. And when you love Allah more, you want to obey Allah more. My brothers and sisters, the first thing that we will be questioned about on the Day of Judgment is our Salat. The first thing, what are you going to tell Allah when He asks you? I want you to live that moment. Allah, Allah, the one you cannot hide anything from, is asking you, why don't you pray? Why you didn't pray in this dunya? I gave you all this, 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 and that, and naam, la tuhad wa la tuhsa, countless amount of blessing. Why didn't you pray? What are you going to say? If the salat is good, Rasulullah he said everything else will follow. The, the fasting will follow, the umrah will follow, the hajj will follow, the charity will follow, the birr al walidain will follow, everything will follow. And he said, if the salat is not good, if the salat is not good, everything will follow. That is, if the sal- that person is praying, but his salat is not good, how about the person who does not pray at all? My brother, my sister. What are you going to tell Allah Azza wa Jal? My brothers and sisters, I know that you have made many promises in the past. Insha'Allah ta'ala, after you heard this, maybe, and I beg Allah, Ya Allah, I beg you, Ya Allah, I beg you, Ya Allah, in this blessed night of Jum'ah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, in this last odd night of, of, of Ramadan, Ya Allah, make these words go from my heart to, 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 to your heart, to their hearts, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, please, Ya Allah, I beg you. And I know that you said, inshallah in Ramadan I will pray, and Ramadan goes, and Ramadan comes, and you did not pray. Oh, no, 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 when I finish school, I'm going to start praying. And then you finish school. When I, when I graduate from college, when I, when, I, when I get married, when I have my first child, and the shaitan keeps dragging it and, and tricking you, and you're falling into, that tra- into these traps. No, 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 brother. Now, now, after this, immediately go make wudu and ask Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive you, Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you and tell him, Ya Allah, I am coming back to you. Ya Allah, please, Ya Allah, accept me, Ya Allah. Allah, you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His doors are open. My brother, my brother, my sister who do not pray, I don't want you to be from the people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Buddathir. Ma salakakum fi saqar. The people of Jannah would ask the people of the hellfire, what took you to the hellfire? What took you to this place called Saqar, this horrible place called Saqar? You know what was the answer, my brother? Surah Al-Muddathir. قَالُوا قَالُوا لَمْ نَكُمْ مِنَ الْمُصَلِّينَ Ya Allah, Ya Allah, we used to not pray. Why, my brother? Wallahi, I don't want to... <laughs> please, my brother, please, my sister. Now, right after this, immediately, astaghfirullah, tawbah, sincere tawbah. I don't want you to be from the people who would say, Ya Allah, Rabbi rji'oon, la'alli a'malu salihan fi ma tarakt. Ya Allah, bring me back. Ya Allah, I'm going to pray every salat on time. Ya Allah, just bring me back. I don't want you to be from the people who would say, Rabb, Rabbana akhrijna na'mal salihan. Ya Allah, take us out from the hellfire, and I, we promise you, Ya Allah, we're going to do righteous deeds. I don't want you to be from the people who say, Ya Laytani qaddamtu li hayati. I wish I have done so much in my life. I wish I've done so much when I was above the ground. It would be too late. Too late. Too late. It would be too late. If somebody took your, your vision right now, huh? if someone took your hearing right now and he tells you if you start praying I will give it back to you subhanallah so why don't we give when Allah is giving why do we give only when Allah takes away no 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 now go ahead please beg Allah beg Allah to forgive you beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept your tawbah and come back to Allah Azza wa Jal. Now, go make wudu, inshaAllah ta'ala, and pray your first salat slowly and, and with tears and tell Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, forgive me. Ya Allah, I missed so much, Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ 
لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم Allah promised us in this ayah, the ulama said the most promising, the, the most merciful ayah in the Qur'an. Whosoever has transgressed, uh, transgressed against himself and he did, he did all kinds, she did all kinds of sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, don't ever give up on my mercy. I forgive all sins. And leaving the salat is a major sin, major sin. Rasulullah told us the difference between us and the non-believers is leaving the salat. Come back to Allah, my brother. Come to, back to Allah, my sister. May Allah, I ask Allah with the best of his names in this blessed night to make the salat easy for you to perform. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal in the best, with the best of his names to make all the ibadat easy for us to perform. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make our last deeds, our best deeds. And I beg Allah not to take our souls except when he is pleased with us. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu lik. Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Are you worried that a haram video might pop up? Well, the One Islam TV app is here to solve these problems, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is 100% free of any ads and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest or drive with your device switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets and so much more. Two to four new videos uploaded daily, inshallah. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.